Hello, I'm Denise Waterman at the Ernest Bevin College here in Tooting and today is the grand opening of the Combined Cadet Force Royal Marine Detachment. <laughs> Well, I'm joined now by Nick Mason, who's got a very important role here today. What's your official title? Hi, so I'm a contingent commander for the Ernest Bevan College Royal Marines Detachment, and my role is to essentially build the training, uh, instill this valuable programme throughout the school. Uh, we've just developed and started off only in October 2016, and really it is to train young leaders for business, the world, for possibly the military if they decided to go into that, but it is all about leadership. So what will be happening today? So we've got a number of activities today to demonstrate the leadership and the lessons that they've been learning in school. Contact drills that will be going on outside, um, that is essentially a reaction to effective enemy fire and going through a few military skills. There's a battle swimming test uh, and fitness going on in the swimming pool where students are you know, sort of crossing um, a, a river with their equipment. There is then also a command task, so developing that leadership aspect and that is going on in the gym in a scenario of trying to get ammunition or equipment or medical supplies across a ravine and using their communication, teamwork and leadership skills to get a, and negotiate and get across this ravine. There's a core of drums who will be showing us uh, their activities and there'll be a chance for students to get involved with those activities outside afterwards in this lovely sunshine yeah. on the playground. We've also got uh, the Royal Marines youth training team who are down and they're going through a few of the uh, weapons uh, side of things that we have on, on, on offer and also there's an unarmed combat stance where um, students can witness and see how the Royal Marines uh, cope with unarmed combat. We've got a, a small instrumental band uh, quartet from the, the, you know, the highly regarded Royal Marines band so they'll be playing incidental music during the parade and afterwards for parents and uh, governors and also councillors. The mayor has come down, uh, the mayor of Wandsworth, as well as uh, the second sea lord, Vice Admiral Jonathan Woodcock. This is the first Royal Marine section to be established under the Cadet Exploration Programme 500. And uh, to quote Royal Marines, they all look hoofy. <laughs> Through their time, the cadets will have the opportunity to develop self-discipline and resilience to improve their team building skills and problem solving and leadership skills, as well as social skills. The programme itself is an education initiative seeking to increase the number of cadet units around the country, in, in particularly in state schools. Um, and, and I think it's a great success, but it must be more than that. For the cadets and the young people who join, it must be about fun as well. Fun and opportunities. And I think that's what is the most important thing that we can do in cadets. We also are very keen to ensure that they gain nationally recognised qualifications and life skills that will help them in future careers, whatever they choose to do. So I am hugely proud to stand here and see you all and look at all of your potential as young cadets. It's great to see you. Well, hopefully this has given you a little glimpse into what's going on here at the Ernest Bevin College. If you would like to find out more, then please look at the details below. I'm Denise Waterman, and you've been watching Southwest London Television. <laughs>